It's Jake Hibbard with Ryan Berger coming off a week where you're at the Soda Springs Invitational. Tons of teams, 27 teams in all, a lot of them that scored. Your teams did well, and you had some good success in varsity and JV. Before we get into anything varsity, why is JV meets, especially in a big one like this, what's the benefit of getting the opportunity to put some younger kids down in a JV meet and get them to compete against a bunch of people and maybe place really highly in that? Well, well, number one is obviously, like you're saying right there, that individual success. It's nice to throw a kid in like like uh, Dawson Crofts, who ran uh, uh, second overall in that meet, in the JV meet. He's a freshman kind of his first major experience in a uh in in a uh, cross-country event he ends up second overall and we're like yeah now take some confidence and then bring it into varsity because a time like that in the varsity kind of a little deceiving for varsity his time would help us as a team which would be great but as an individual he'd probably put him in the top 30 or so but we want to taste some individual success too early on in the season how did your varsity teams work out on that uh, as far as the girls, they ended up uh, six overall. They beat all the Wyoming teams that were there. Um, Brayla and Brittany ran really well uh, at the meet. They both placed in the top 20. Uh, and uh, also Reagan Worley. She she had one of her best times uh, of the years, even since last year. Reagan and Micah and Gracie did a great job as well. Uh, Anna He, she, she uh, did a really good job uh, coming in where she did. Uh, she's dealing with a little bit of an ankle issue, but she did a nice job. As far as the boys, the boys ended up tied for eighth, kind of missed out, missed uh, missing Dawson. Uh, we could have used him in, in team points. We had another one of our individuals out due to kind of a family uh, issue and a family emergency that that person dealt with. But as far as uh, individually in the boys varsity, Hayden Crofts, he was 15th overall, posted a really, really good time that uh, will really get him going forward uh, in this year for, for Dawson. So I was, I was proud of all of our kids overall as a whole. This week you're headed to the Wasatch Invitational in Soldier Hollow. It's a steep meet both up and downhill. You run it every year. And you keep coming back. So what are the reasons that you like about, what are the things you like about this meet? One, it's early third. It's the last third of our season. Okay, so the last third, if you we break the season training into three thirds, so it's really hard. We want hard courses. We want heels. We're going to really work on those hard courses. That's a big reason. And two, it's really good competition. American Fork, one of the top teams in the nation, end up bringing their, their kids there. And, and a lot of times we run our young kids in the younger division against their kids and have some real success against those guys too. It's been kind of a fun meet that way. And it's on Saturday. It's a nice Saturday meet, you know, uh, that out of classroom stuff, especially early early in the year, is tough on kids, and we like to be going out on Saturdays and and kind of not disrupting the the classroom day. Yeah, and you got uh, football's on the road, but volleyball starts their conference season on Friday, so maybe you can get some athletes coming out to support the girls in the gym as well. Yeah, they will be in full support, and we'll go watch those girls uh, compete on Friday, and that's a fun thing as well. I think uh, not only being in sp- sports is a is an honor for kids, but also uh, cheering on your your fellow classmates. Okay, uh, we were able to go see the football game. The kids uh, did a really nice job in the student section. And obviously this weekend for the girls volleyball or, or this Friday, we'll be there. Coach Ryan Berger, another week across country. You said it's the last part, last part of the first third of the season. So good luck. Well, thank you very much. And as always, go Red Devils.